you know, when when you look back on your career, like, do you have like a most satisfying victory? Yeah. What is it? I seen Rock. Man. I was gonna say that. I was gonna say the rematch. The first yeah. or the second? The second one, motherfucker. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you that, Wally. When a guy when a guy beats you like that, and then you know you could have beaten him or you should have beaten him, is that what bothered you so much? Um, no. You know what really bothered me is the fact that I gave him an opportunity. I gave him a fight when uh, I'm basically waiting for Tyson, and I have to keep busy. I'm looking down the list of who who to fight. He's number seven. I realized that he's durable. He's not not one of these guys that get knocks out easy. So I wanted to give my fans, you know, a proper fight. Box the best guy out there, not box the easy guy that's easy to get knocked out. I don't want to go home in two rounds. So, and then another reason, a lot of people don't know, I went to Africa to fight because Muhammad Ali went to Africa. He wow. fought in Africa. So I wanted to do that. I wanted to be, I wanted to fight in Africa. If You know, I say, I'm a world champion, so I need to fight all around the world. So that's what, made me go to Africa. The only thing about Africa is I didn't know that it was such a high altitude up there. And for me to uh, have a fight, I should have got there a lot earlier, but I was doing Ocean's Eleven at that time. People uh. said, oh, you were doing a movie. I wasn't doing no movie. I was sitting around half the time waiting for them to change the lights, then go out and go out there for two minutes and then go back and sit there for another two hours while they change the lights. So, were you training at all while that was happening? Yeah, I was training, but it wasn't like the, it wasn't the conditions of training. You know, I needed a bag. I needed sparring partners. I needed right. to be uh, up there a lot sooner. So you're just kind of exercising. Yes. How many thousand feet was it above sea level? Higher than uh, Big Bear. It was Cape Town, right? So more than six? Yeah. yeah. <coughs> yeah. Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah, it was kind of weird because when I start working out, I was like throwing punches. Then I found myself going, <sighs> so I had to take two steps back. And I'm like, oh, no, no don't tell me this fight's going to be one of those fights where I have to take my time. Mm. So I basically went out there taking my time i realized he's he's dealing with the same thing i'm dealing with although he was there a lot earlier but you know i had a couple things going wrong boxing at four in the morning uh they couldn't find a big enough ring then they when they put the ring together it was like uh 18 by 19 so and then the the punch that actually hit me i actually thought i i was gonna block it but it came around this side I put my hand. I put my hand up to block it, but it came around, hit me. One of those things where a man threw a terrific punch, which my chin happened to be in the way of. Mm. <laughs> what is it like when that's over and you're sitting there and you know you lost, but you know that under the right circumstances, this guy is not at your level. Uh, in fact, you know my problem was solved before I got out of the ring. I knew what I did wrong, which was the the greatest thing that ever happened to me. It's like, ah. Uh, on another day, he he wouldn't throw a lucky punch like that. He wouldn't hit me, and he wouldn't have a ref that you know was on his side as well. How was the ref on his side? Um, when I say the refs on his side, you know, he called got, it a little early. I yeah, would say. I got knocked down in the second round. I'm the I'm the champion, right? At least give me a chance, not wave the fight straight. Away. Right, right. You right. know, you seen you seen the Deontay uh, Tyson, Tyson Fury, Fury fight. <laughs> like, like you know, if that was the ref, he would have he yeah. would have counted him out straight away. Yeah, that's probably a good point. Probably would have stopped it at the press conference. That <laughs> fucking twelfth round, that right left that, that Deontay insane. landed. The fact that Tyson got up and then won the remainder of the round, that is crazy. Yeah, I am so frustrated that, that fight's not happening again. Man, every you know, <coughs> I'm looking at the heavyweight scene and um, I'm looking at obviously um, Joshua, you know, Joshua from England. And, you know, he had the opportunity to fight Deontay and didn't take it. I'm like, if that was me, I would have took that chance because you never know what happens down the road like what's happening yeah. now. And, uh, you know, to, to me, he's being put on the shelf. Now he has to box somebody that nobody really wants him to box. Who's he fighting next? Uh, baby. Uh, baby Miller. Oh, Big, Big Baby Miller. Big Baby Miller. Yeah. You know, Big Baby Miller, I haven't seen too much of him. I don't know too much about him, but, you know, he talks a good fight. I knew he, I know he weighed, weighed over 300 pounds at one time. He's a big and, baby. And, yeah. And, uh, you know, now he's got an opportunity to fight uh, Joshua. So he's taking full advantage of it like he should. But, you know, I don't see anything in his history to show me that he can beat Joshua. You know, mm. who have you beaten? He can, he, can, he can bang, though. 
he can bang if you're there to bang. Josh Joshua's got feet. He's going to move. He's not going to stay there and bang. Yeah, he's an he's excellent gonna, boxer. He, yeah, he's going to be yeah. a smart boxer in, in this fight. Allegedly. We'll see. Right? I mean, never know. Yeah, I mean, this. these are one of those things where I think <laughs> this is where Anthony's got to be extra careful because yeah. Miller's going to train twice as hard. And if Joshua doesn't train like he's fighting Deontay, right. he's gonna he may take it for granted, make a mistake. And you can do that. I've done that. I've done that. It's and it's nothing it's nothing that he's done on purpose. It's not it's like it's a mental thing. Yeah, it's a yeah. mental thing. You, like when you fought Mavrovich. Yeah. That guy wouldn't go home. Wouldn't go home. <laughs> that guy wouldn't go home. <laughs> he gave me a lot of trouble. <laughs> I was at that fight. He gave me a lot of trouble. Um, Lennox boxed this guy around the ring for 12 rounds like literally the guy's head snapping back yeah. and this guy's not going he not anywhere go yeah. he was going nowhere that is, that would, that's that's got to be a weird feeling too when you know how hard you punch and you see a guy just eating him like some people just are built weird they just yeah. can take a shot no I learned that coming up I learned that like yo some guys that are tough to the head are weak to the body uh, some guys are tough to the body weak to the head and some guys are just made out of rocks. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. It's almost like a ignorant bliss. They just don't know they're supposed to feel pain. <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, I really think it's a physiological thing. I think some guys can just take a shot. Uh, they just, they're just built better. The Sometimes I've been in fights where I've gone in the man's hit me on the chin first couple uh, minutes. And it's like it just glanced off my chin. I was like, I ate it. Up. I ate the punch <laughs> up and it didn't hurt me. And it was like, what happened to that punch? It was so hard. It hit you on the chin. Everybody was saying, yo, did you see that punch? You never felt it? I'm like, no. And when I look at tape of it, it's like, wow, I did get hit. Mm. Is it because, like, are there a bunch of factors? Like how much you got hit in training? How well you feel coming into the fight? Yeah, where, where you're at in your career. Yeah, there's a lot of factors. Like, for instance, let me give you a, a wicked factor. If you haven't boxed for two years and all of a sudden you step into the ring and it's a title fight and you box, you can, the first good hit you get is going to concuss you. Really? Because you you haven't been getting those hits for that, that two years. Now this man hit you with the two years uh, um, and you're getting used to it and you f you felt it and you've gotten over it. You need to get over that hill. Is it a mental hill? It is a mental hill because even for me, for me, when I haven't fought for a while, you know, I go out there until I get hit. Once I get hit, that wakes everything up. Mm. It's like, yo, this is not supposed to go like that. You're not supposed to hit me. I'm supposed to hit you. So I get, <laughs> <laughs> I get going. <laughs> so the Hasim Rockman fight after it was over, were you worried that you were going to get a, we're not going to get a rematch? Yes, I was yeah. very worried. In fact, we chased him to three courts around the world and uh, he didn't want to fight me and I, I you know if I was in this position I wouldn't want to fight me either because uh, you know I'm coming back for revenge plus there's a big money fight out there with Tyson right. which he so um, so happened to say after the fight no more Lewis Tyson no more Lewis Tyson and he actually left um, South Africa without visiting Mandela like why you go Africa and not visit Mandela mm. I did he just wanted to get out of there. Yeah, he Take just... Take that belt. Just, yeah. And, and that $7 million that he got off of Don King. Mm. So um, the fight got made again because after the third courtroom, uh, the judge says, whose signature is this? Hasim said it was his. You signed it? Yes. Well, you got to give him the rematch. This is You signed it to give him a rematch, so you have to give him a rematch. So he didn't want to hear that. So I was happy. Got so the rematch. How long did it take? Two years. Two years. Wow. And there was all that, all those brawls in the, remember the ESPN studio when him and Rockman got into a fight? Yeah, that's right. They knocked right. over the table and everything. Yeah. That Lennox was, was wearing his big Steve Harvey suit. Did you? <laughs> Steve Harvey suit. <laughs> Let me tell you, it was a Steve Harvey suit too. Because I, I had the slippery shoes in the world. I, I didn't come there to fight. Right, I came right. there to like, you know, do press. <clears throat> those slippery shoes are the worst. If anything goes down, you got those leather shoulder oh, shoes. Oh, yeah, you're done. Oh, my God. On carpet? Whoop. You just yeah, no. legs just give Rock up. Rockman went, I went, <laughs> <laughs> That's when you got to no learn jujitsu. Yeah, yeah. Now, when you were in that time period, I, I don't remember. Did you have fights in between? Uh, yeah. How many fights did you have after uh, Rockman? Oh, no. I didn't have no fights no in between. No fights in between. No, no. I no. just trained for Rockman. Just waited. Yeah. So it took you two years. Two years. God, that must have been so frustrating. It was. It was because you never know if you're going to get the fight or not. Or, you know, these guys are running from you. They signed to fight a rematch because, you know, now they didn't want to sign it. I remember when that right hand landed. I remember that I was watching it at home and I threw my arms up in the air. 
I oh. was like, oh shit. Oh, yeah. Yes. Right. Right. Mom went to sleep, Boom. sleep. Boom. Sleep, it was sleep. A hammer. Let's let's check this out, man. Yeah. I mean, for a long time coming, you waited for it. You know, for this this fight, Rockman couldn't cut, catch me because my speed was different. You know, in South Africa, it was a lot slower. Now he got kind of a little frustrated because he couldn't Here catch it is. me. Boom! Yep. Oh man! Now over I, the top of the shoulder. I I Joe t- Cortez oh. let him count still. Oh, <laughs> that was a phenomenal punch. That was probably one of the most satisfying one punch knockouts I've ever watched. Yeah. Because I knew what you had gone through, and I knew, like, everybody knew you were one of the greatest of all time. Man. And then to have you get KO'd like that, first of all, it made, it endeared people to you in a way, because it showed your vulnerability, but also your character and your ability to come back, which is not easy, man. When you get stopped like that, like, psychologically, it's got to be fucking with your head. Let me tell you, the first time I lost, everybody was coming up and shaking my hand and said, well, what are you going to do now? I'm like, what do you mean, what am I going to do now? Yeah, well, what are you going to do now? I'm, I'm going to go back and win my t- championship. I said, okay. You know, they didn't think it was going to be possible, but I'm thinking Muhammad Ali gained the championship three times. Yeah. So I've only lost it once. I can do it again. It takes a special person to do it, and I can do it. 